In this presentation, we will set up the manual payroll within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the software. We're currently on the home page with the open windows open. You can open the open windows tab by going to the view tab drop down and selecting open windows. We're going to set up a payroll option here. Now there's a lot of different options to set up when thinking about payroll. We'll discuss a few of those options, but if setting, when setting up payroll, you really want to discuss the options with an accountant to, to make sure that you're getting what you need and what your needs are. Uh, we're going to set up payroll within the system so we can work through uh, the system. QuickBooks Pro, the desktop version, has a really nice manual payroll system that we can set up, which I, I don't recommend, of course, using in practice because we're going to have to do more calculations within it. But much of it will be very similar to the QuickBooks options that are available in terms of paid options. And it's actually really good to learn from because by doing the manual calculations, within the system we'll see the same kind of input screens and we'll see what's actually happening we'll have to actually do a little bit of payroll in order to enter uh, this information into the system in more of a manual basis if we uh, buy the quickbooks payroll systems of course then quickbooks will automate more of the system and the goal being for quickbooks to do more of the work which is great we just need the options you just need to be considering what kind of options uh, you want to look at so um, in practice even if you have one or two employees you probably don't want to do the payroll just all yourself without some kind of support in terms of software or um, or some kind of paid software for it, whether it be through payroll, through QuickBooks, or outside of QuickBooks. So if if we think about the payroll in terms of the home page, we're going down here to the employees section here. And you'll see we only have these two icons here. We'll actually have another icon that will be in place once we set up uh, the payroll system it will increase or add to it another payroll item the payroll will be an added feature within quickbooks so when we buy the program it doesn't typically come with payroll and unless we batch it together and buy the payroll options for part for part of the reason for that is that payroll is going to have some different options in terms of how much support uh, the payroll will give us so we can look at that if we go to uh, the turn on payroll over here i'm not going to turn anything on i'm just going to look at the options over here so we're going to say turn on uh, payroll over here and it'll give us some options from QuickBooks. We need, of course, an internet connection in order to do this because it's going to try to sell us payroll here. So run payroll in minutes, 30% uh, now. This is the payroll offers. We have basic, enhanced, or assisted here. And you can see that the three options. Now, neither of these are the ones. We're going to use a manual system, which will look very similar to some of these options in terms of the data input screens. But the basic auction has a seamless QuickBooks integration, uh, automatic tax calculations, pay by check, or um, free direct deposit. So it does some of the, the major or uh, core payroll processing options. Then, of course, we have some other options in terms of the advanced options. And then QuickBooks takes on a lot of the responsibility with uh, the, the assisted options and, and does a lot more. Of course, here's the price differences we have at this given time. Now, this is one option we can have with payroll again even if we only have a few uh, employees we probably want to pay for some payroll system even if we're going to process it ourselves or or work with our accountant to do so uh, we probably still need at least the basic option in order to do that as we increase uh, employees then this becomes much more complicated if we have a lot of employees uh, and if we have special needs such as multiple different states then uh, it becomes much more necessary to get help uh, with payroll either uh, with advanced payroll systems and or with support from uh, an accountant and or even uh, payroll professionals to, to look at it. Uh, payroll is one of those areas that's becoming kind of specialized within and of itself, meaning there's companies, of course, that do just payroll. And uh, depending on the needs of the company, if it's a small company, uh, obviously with a few employees, you could probably... Uh, look at the payroll, but you want to then uh, have the help of an accountant, even with basically a small amount of payroll, to make sure that you're processing those forms. Payroll is one of those things that can go very well throughout the year, and you think that there's no problems until the end of the year, <laughs> and you try to file the end-year uh, payroll summary forms and the W-2s and whatnot, 
and that and that's when you realize that you know there might be problems here and there those are types of headaches that you'd rather avoid you'd rather do it correctly the first time than uh than have problems uh towards the end also when you're dealing with withholdings and things like that uh, the 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 it, it's more complicated you have more liability in some cases because uh, you're dealing with withholdings of other people's money. It's their it's their money that they earned that you owe the employee, and we have to pay the taxes on it. So the IRS can kind of look at that as not just uh, not paying taxes if there's a mistake with it, but uh, as something that you you know you kind of took money from the employees in a way because it's their withholdings that we withheld that we have to pay. So you want to be careful with payroll. Make sure you're you're considering these options. Make sure you're looking at the options with a professional to pick the correct one. Uh, if we look at some of the other options, you could have a payroll outside of QuickBooks. And uh, so some of those programs would be like ADP is one of the largest companies that would help, uh, you know, small to mid-sized to larger companies to process their payroll outside of the QuickBooks system and either integrate it uh, into our accounting system, or we would just do a journal entry basically to enter that information into the system. So that's one option. Again, if you want to think about going to an ADP Another one would be a, a paycheck. So those are going to be some of the larger kind of companies that would be outside that deal with payroll. There are others they can deal with payroll. Then uh, I would look for <clears throat> an outside opinion, meaning you want to talk to ADP who is trying to get your business, but possibly also talk to a CPA firm or, or an accountant that could help you to, to make a decision and pay them hourly you know, to, to help you think through that decision. Uh, as to whether you should go with an outside source for payroll and or HR uh, or uh, purchase something within QuickBooks and or perhaps get help from uh, an accountant or CPA. So those are a couple of the options. It's ter in terms of QuickBooks for us learning the system, what we're going to do is set up the QuickBooks with a manual system so that we can see how this information would be entered within QuickBooks and enter the payroll data. Uh, and, and again, the look and feel of it would be much the same for different types of systems that we would use in terms of entering the payroll uh, information into the system. It's just that we will have to do a few more manual calculations in order to do so. So to do that, well, we're gonna go to the help up top. We're gonna go to quick desktop help. So we're gonna go to help, quick desktop help. And then within the search screen up top, what we wanna do is find manual payroll. We wanna set up manual payroll. So I'm going to type in manual payroll and search and see what we have here. Then it's going to give us process payroll manually without a subscription to QuickBooks desktop payroll. That's what we want. We want it to set up payroll and let us just give us the screen so we can enter all the data in manually. So we're going to say, okay, process the manual payroll. And then we want set up your company file to use the manual payroll calculations settings. That's what we want. I'm going to set up the manual calculations settings so we can practice and look at the payroll process. So then we say, are you sure you want to set up your company to use the manual checking or the, pan the manual calculations? And of course, we're gonna say yes down here. It says, if you are sure you want to manually calculate your payroll taxes. <laughs> and of course, QuickBooks is trying to say, hey, you know, don't you wanna pay for the QuickBooks payroll? Which again, I would suggest paying for some type of payroll typically um, um, to, to do the payroll. But again, we're going to say, yeah, we're going to set up the manual payroll here on the practice problem. And once you do so, you might get one more icon you have to select here. But then I'm going to close this out. Once we do so, then we'll notice that our, our employee section down here looks a bit different now. Because now we've got this payroll employees and pay uh, liabilities. And again, this will look similar no matter what, you know, with different type of, of payroll settings. Because... What we're going to do now, whether we have QuickBooks support or not have QuickBooks support, whether we pay for QuickBooks or have the manual setup, is we're going to have to enter the payroll when it comes up into our payroll pay employees. It's just a matter of is QuickBooks going to calculate things like the withholdings for federal income tax, Social Security and Medicare, state withholdings and whatnot, or are we going to calculate those and put those into the system manually? So the, the setup screen and data screens will look much the same here, it's just that QuickBooks would do more of the calculations. So what we have now, of course, is we've got the time enter. Uh, now this is something that we may or may not use. Many companies aren't gonna use the, the time enter even though they use the payroll settings, meaning this would be like a punch clock that we're gonna, we're gonna enter the time, which is useful uh, if we're tracking the time of employees or ourselves and applying them to invoices possibly to help us build the invoice. 
or applying them to uh, to payroll so that we can we can enter the time. But we don't have to enter the time here. We could go directly here to enter the time for our employees. Once we do this, this will help us process the checks. So at the end of when we pay people, either at the end of the week, at the end of two weeks, bi-weekly, semi-weekly, at the end of the month, we will process the checks. And this, at the end of this process, will then uh, create checks. You know, we'll, we'll either print the checks from QuickBooks or generate the checks within QuickBooks and, and uh, so that they'll be in the system. And then at some point in time, we're gonna have to pay the liabilities, meaning we're gonna have to withhold taxes so this is when we pay the employees. This is when we pay the liabilities, the payroll liabilities, meaning uh, we're going to owe Social Security, Medicare uh, for the employee and the employer. We're going to have to withhold the federal income tax from the employee and any kind of state withholdings that we make. And then we're going to have to pay those liabilities, meaning pay those taxes that we that we have incurred for payroll taxes to the uh, correct locations, which are either the uh, state or the Fed for the U.S. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.